Yeah, so DC fast charging is big boy charging. So this bypasses if a car is built in AC charger. So this whole time, you know, I keep saying charger because that's kind of the ubiquitous term. But level one and level two, the charger is technically not the cable. It's not the piece you're plugging into the wall. As I mentioned before, that is actually the EVSE, the electric vehicle supply equipment. The physical charger is in your car, and that was, is what turns your AC power from your wall into DC power for the battery. Level three charging bypasses that step. So the thing you're plugging into is actually the charger, and it offloads DC power straight from the unit to your battery. And because of this, it can do it at much higher rates. So DC fast charging can charge most EVs 10 to 80% somewhere between 20 to 45 minutes. And we're going to talk more about that here in a minute. This is typically what you're going to use on a road trip or on a quick like highway stop and things like that. The bad news is this does require big boy power. So you have to have commercial grade electricity, you know, 480 volt, three phase electricity like you would find at a Walmart or a restaurant or whatever else you know it requires large transformers and all that jazz and they're expensive to install and they're expensive to maintain and some of that then gets passed on to the consumer 